Hey there, ladies and gentle folks. My name is Mangus, and I welcome you guys to part 35 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 6 the Randomized Edition. We are in Arcadia, the desert, and we are fighting dangerous pre promotes. This guy, fucking hell, has the killing edge. S fuck. Um, I think I need to bring in Lou, and I think I need to dance. I'm gonna move Roy up here, and I think it's about time Sue goes and picks up Lot, don't you guys think? We can dump off Sophia. Oh wait, she's not carrying Sophia. Cecilia is carrying Sophia. That's fine. She can keep carrying Sophia. For all I care. You try to do some damage against this healer. We will of course fail. But the thing is, I really want to have a super mode into a uh, Vibrant Knight or Vibrant Lord this chapter. I'm going to try to kill this mercenary as well. That went better. So at least we won't have to worry about him. That helps. Luck and defense. Lot is starting to become a little bit subpar. He needs to get better level ups if he wants to get anywhere in life, so to say. But I think a, a retreat would be nice. I mean, of course, I could try to attack this guy with a brave bow. Would be nice to get him down. I could try. I mean, I do two shot him. Come on, fear. Oh, that's my girl. That's my fucking girl right there. So fucking nice. Of course, I need to move Chad down, or else I'm fucking dead. But I do have a lot of bards at my disposal, and I should probably use them. So let's get this bard train rolling. I think I want to use them to get Lou into a defensive position. Too so bad I didn't bring Alan, even though she had, she kind of sucks. She still has some nice supports. I'm gonna move in Lou right here. Could always move one bard down to help Sue kill that guy. Could work. So, Chad can do some pretty nice damage to this guy. Of course, it's Fire Emblem 6, so we have to miss our 70% hits. Very important, guys. Okay, we have to move in our last part as well. I'm taking, taking Klein gets wrecked by this guy. Yeah, he does. He gets doubled even. Fucking hell, Klein, why do you get doubled, man? Why? Ugh, so annoying. I'm gonna move Klein up here, I think, and then move like so. And we'll have Lou protect fear, so to say. Let's give him a killing edge. Alright, Rose and Maggie just entered the battlefield. They're pretty fucking scary. Although, to be quite truthful, we probably won't see much of them. Because they're going to spend for fucking ever trying to move through the desert. So they're probably going to... Ooh, nice one. They're probably going to become a non-issue. Alright, level up for Chado. Luck. Well, he has capped most of his other stats, so... Don't expect any awesome level ups from him. Shit, don't crit him. Don't crit him. Okay, fuck. That's bad. But at least he won't double Chad, because Chad has fucking capped speed. All right, are we good? I think we're good. All right, good. Now we can deal with this guy. First, let's try to give Sue some experience. She just needs to hit a couple more times and she should be good. Maybe I should, um, come to think of it, maybe I should just uh, kill this guy with lots. Ah, Lot could get some sort of experience as well, I suppose. Should probably just pick up Lot and dump him off because it takes him way too long to move around. Uh, anyway, uh, let's move in here. Klein can do decent damage to this guy. It's good to see, because this guy is fucking tough as nails. Then we'll move in fear. It's probably gonna have to be a brave bow time. Come on, fear. Fear. No. Fucking fear. What? Ah, come the fuck on. Alright, this guy, if he crits me, he will kill me, but I need to attack him with something. Please don't crit me, please don't crit me. Thank you. Jesus Christ, what are they feeding these guys? So I can at least dance for Lou, and then I can dance for my other bard. 
I know there's a bolting boss over the wall, and I'm pretty sure he can throw his boltings pretty fucking far. So I gotta be a little bit careful here. So I don't want to move my guys too close. I don't know his exact range. I should have should have memorized his magic stat, and actually I could have counted it because it's his half his magic, pretty much. Come on, fear. There you go. That's my girl. Should we just let Lou get the kill then? I think we have to, don't we? Yeah, we pretty much have to. There we go. And he gets 10 experience. Ungrateful bastard. Alright, I actually kind of want uh, to borrow his talisman. I don't th I'm gonna give him the axe, just to be safe. Let's move in Roy as well. Rutger needs to move. I don't think I... No, I can't pick up Rutger anyway. Alright, more reinforcements on their way. Alright, so the boss can attack us. Ah! No! Oh, shit! Holy fuck, I didn't think he'd do 25 damage to Chad. Oh my fucking god. Okay, so we need to bait out that bolting. What we could do is we could have uh, Sophia take it. That is probably a good idea. We uh, we give Sophia to Roy, and we move fucking hell. So it might be that she needs to stand on the spot Chad is standing on. So what we could could do is we could barrier her up and just let her soak the boltings. Sounds like a plan. If we can move closer with Lou in a torch, then we might be able to see the boss's true range. I think we're literally on the outskirts of his range right now. So if we stand here, of course, we've got to be careful with Clarine. Very careful with Clarine. Even burying her up will probably won't do much. Alright, let's uh, use a torch to see what kind of enemies lie aside. If I remember correctly, there aren't that many enemies. Oh, there's a single one, actually. But not really a big deal at all. This guy can't attack Cecilia, that's good. Klein is starting to lag behind a little bit in terms of pre-promotes. He needs more speed. But he's still pretty viable. Alright, if Sue can kill this guy, then I think she levels, doesn't she? Oh, are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh, that's not cool. Okay, I can move. Nah, I'm not gonna walk around. And, oh, I know what to do. <laughs> can I rescue Lot while he is rescuing someone else? I am actually very curious. Alright, more brigands. There's a shit ton of brigands coming. Could farm some experience on them if I wanted to. There we go. Oh! Are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> she got doubled by a boss holding a bolting? What? How is that even fucking possible? I think she was only carrying a men's staff, but fucking hell. How? How the fuck do you go on about doing that? That is just wrong. Oh my god. You aren't fucking joking, are you? Alright. Alright, it's another hero. This guy's carrying a steel sword. His capped skill. However, they, they have about a 32% chance to hit Lou. Even more if we bring Chad into the mix. And Chad can also barrier up Lou, which sounds like a very good thing indeed. So let's, uh... Wow, really? Doubled with a fucking bolt thing. Now I've seen that too. I'm sorry, Cecilia, you just weren't meant for this game. You are just f too fucking bad. 22% chance to hit. Now that I like to see. So in the, in the forest, Lou's not gonna get hit by anything. Holy fuck though, that, that bolting boss. 
We really gotta bring out... I think I think that was the second bolting, wasn't it? Pretty sure that was the second bolting. Let's get our bards the hell away from here. We can use Klein to take the remaining boltings, I suppose. Here we go. Alright, so... It appears you cannot pick someone up when you do that shit. Not surprisingly at all. Alright, so what we should do now is we should try to bait one of the mercenaries to attack us. So we should put Sue right here. And with a little luck, this guy should go for her. And keeping Roy far away from the bolting, of course, for obvious reasons. I gotta check that shit's weights. I guess anima magic is a lot lighter in Fire Emblem uh, 6. The bolting may not be that heavy, but I'm very, I'm sure this guy doesn't double climb at the very least. So that's the third bolting right there. Good, that guy went for Sue. That might, if she hits on this, which she didn't, means she's, uh, regardless of what happens next time she attacks, she will, she will be able to promote at the very least. Nope. Chad working on his light magic rank, which is always good. Okay, they like going for Chad. The hero will go for Lou, on the other hand, and Lou is in a fucking forest, so... He's not gonna be able to hit him. Oh, fuck, or he goes for Chad. That is also a possibility, I suppose. Ow! Fucking hell, this guy needs to die. Like, yesterday. What turn are we on anyway? Gotta check. All right, we're on turn eleven, so not so we still have like fourteen turns to do this shit. So we're not really pressed for time. Jesus Christ, lot. Well, someone's starting to lose their shine. Although I suppose it is an unpromoted hero we're talking about here. I suppose we need all firepower to deal with this guy. Yep, we definitely do. Klein! Not now! Jesus, this guy is fucking dodgy. And we just lost our off healer as well. We have to kill these fuckers now. I suppose dancing for Klein would be ideal in this situation, considering he does pretty decent damage to the guy. Although, he has to hit three times in order to kill him, which is actually not very ideal at all. Should have brought the four blaze, maybe. Could have worked. Alright, maybe we can kill this guy? With the killing edge? If we get a crit, we will kill him. 40% chance, come on. Gotta take down a couple of these guys. Hmm. Maybe the Braybo will uh, help out in the situation. It might. It might. But it didn't do enough. But if we dance for Klein, we should be good. Don't like having my bards all the way up here. I gotta, I gotta say, it makes me a little bit nervous. I don't know the boss's range, but I think we're literally on the outskirts of it. The the boss might also bolting fear, which is also very scary. Chad is also very low on health. Which leads me to believe that we should probably fuck off in a big way. This guy's on 8 health. If we can kill one of them, then maybe the uh, difficulty will go down somewhat. No! No! Fuck, this is really not what I needed right now. I should have used the killer lance. Speed on luck. Fuck me. Oh, that's really, really fucking bad. Chad is so fucking weak right now. But Sue is even weaker. Uh, 
what do you do in this situation, really? Can't really do much, can you? Hope they go for the bards, maybe? Ah, fucking no. Oh my god, he tried to bolt in Clarine. Now they just murder Sue. Ugh, come on, come on, Sue. You can survive this. You can fucking survive this. Go for the bard, go for the bard, go for the bard, go for the bard. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Finally, finally the RNG gives me a breather. Fucking hell, finally the RNG is a little bit nice. Oh my fucking god. Alright, time to actually see the boss. There's not a lot of enemies over here. Oh, he doesn't have any more uses of his bolting, that's good. However, I know that for a fact that there are some enemies over here. But anyway, before we do anything else, it's time. Fuck, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. Oh yeah! Choo 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 choo! Oh yeah, five hit points, two strength, two skill, two speed, two defense, two resistance, and one con. All things considered, I don't think Sue turned out to be a really bad unit. She, her stats are a little on the low side compared to other Viver Knights. I mean, her defense is a little bit bad, her resistance is nothing spectacular, but at least she's pretty fast at 19 speed. I gotta say though, the speed cap of Viren Lord is pretty awful. Whew, alright. That was fucking nerve-wracking right there. So now we can go have fun with the boss, but we gotta be careful, because there's a bunch of guys who will attack us as soon as we get close to the gate. This map is definitely not over. So, uh, let's heal people up. Everyone's injured, so... There we go. We also need to get Rutger over here, because he'll be very important when dealing with the Vyverns that will come our way. I just I know they will come, because I've done this map so many times. They attack you when you when you reach the gates, and there's quite a lot of them too, so you don't really want to underestimate them at all. Let's just bar train Clarine a little bit over here, shall we? We gotta heal up Klein. Swing, swing. There you go, buddy. I can't wait to give to get Chad to use some actual tomes instead of that crap lightning magic he's using. Five might, seventy-five hit. Light magic is so bad in Fire Emblem Six. It's fucking atrocious how bad it is. Not that Divine and Shine is any better, but at the very least it still tries. <laughs> it has some better stats on it. Alright, yeah, here they are. They start coming close to you. I'm pretty sure they, they activate when you come close to the gate, or maybe on a specific turn. But I think they're all moving now, so... Yep, here they are. Elf, oh, Elf Fire. Oof, nasty. I really just want to go in and kill this guy and be done with him, because Elfire is just not pleasant. Here we go. So this Brave Bow has been utilized to great effect. And then we can kill this guy. Or we can try, at the very least. Oh, we gotta heal up Sue as well. Those five hit points really helped her out, I gotta say. Really, really happy for that. We gotta be careful, though. We gotta be very careful. Alright, so we can move Roy up here. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll get to, uh, kill, to kill this guy, so it's fine. This guy can't attack, because he only has a bolting. Can actually equip the Armangs just for fun, I feel. Help, oh, maybe Shu can help out here. She doubles the guy. That's something, right? Gotta give uh, lots of more steel bows. I'm, I plan to do some shopping in the in the armory and, uh, and, and vendor up here with my silver card. Gotta be a little bit careful now because um, I don't know if there are any anti-flyer mages here. Could, could very well be. 
Anyway, let's kill this fucker. Chad! There we go. Should we uh, dance for Lou, maybe? Bring him closer to Lot. He does have the torch, so he can see incoming enemies, which is quite nice. I think we will. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Start working on the boss, shall we? Hurrah! <laughs> well, that's not gonna happen. This guy's gonna be slightly tricky to hit, I think. Okay, more reinforcements coming our way. Ra -ba 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 -ba. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna bother with that man kits. I think I really need to conserve my Worm Slayer. You only get one, if I remember correctly. We done? I think we're done. I wonder why the en enemy phase takes so long on this map. Always, always baffled me. I guess Sophia is still sleeping for two turns. Should we wake her up? Maybe? Anyway, this is why our caliber is awesome. And we can buy our caliber tomes here. You should buy a lot, because they're gonna be very, very, very useful. For obvious fucking reasons. Don't like that crits. Don't like that crit at all. So let's not use the Armangs. Let's save it. It's gonna be so fucking useful later on. Do -do 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 -do. There we go. And a level up for fear! Level up, level up. Hit points, strength, and skill. Is this okay? Fierce getting- Ah! Fierce capped strength. Lovely. That is pretty fucking cool, actually. Uh, that won't be a kill. This will be a kill. This will be an exact kill. And I do love exact kills. POW! So do I kill Vyvern, or do I, uh, I can dance. Doesn't really matter, does it? There we go. Schmack. So who has the silver card, and do we have any sellables? I do think we, we have some money left. Let's see, Vulnerary. I haven't really used any of the stuff I've gotten. I think I'm gonna sell the silver blade, and possibly even the talisman, because two resistance? I don't know, maybe I shouldn't st sell staff boosters when the game is so hard. I actually think that's a bad idea. The question is, who should get the talisman? I don't know. I really don't know. So what turn are we on now? 14, still have plenty of time. But I'm gonna buy at least three air caliber tomes, because they're that fucking amazing. You can even buy Nosferatus. And I think... I'm running a little bit low on certain steel weapons. So, uh, well, we can try to kill the boss with Sue. Nice! <laughs> Starting off with style. There we go. Probably just finish off. Oh, let's uh, train up for sword skill a little bit, shall we? It's very rarely used on Vibrant Lords, but it's still nice to have against axe wielding enemies. I always felt like Wyvern Lord should have gotten axes in the Game Boy Advance series instead of swords. And they did change that later. I always thought it was weird. There we go. Thank you. You were quite a bitch to deal with yourself. Alright, that grants you an entire level up. Skill unlock. Come on, can you stop leveling up so mediocrely? Jesus. All right, so we we should sell the silver blade, and that's pretty much about it, I I think. Should we kill the mankits? I suppose we could kill the mankits, shouldn't we? Gives a lot of experience. There's a lot of brigands here as well. With the armangs, I think it goes down r rather quickly. <laughs> Ten crit though, ain't happening. Sorry. Ugh, this guy is so fucking strong. I suppose we could uh, 
throw some lightning at him, no? I plan to seize this turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Always nice to give Chad some weapon experience anyway. Now this guy is worth a lot of XP, so maybe we should kill him. Even though it's gonna cost us some resources. Can Fear even do... Yeah, she can do 3 damage to him. Ah, uh, I suppose we could... Ah, oh, we will kill him in one hit now, so might as well. Schmack! Take that! Not a lot of experience for Rutger, though, but still, it helps. Wow, Fear can't double brigands. Ain't that fucking lovely? Yeah, I'm not gonna stick around for these guys, trust me. They're, n they're not even worth the, the weapons I'm expending on them. I'm just gonna get some slight amount of XP and then I'm gonna back off. Although, I am curious about what classes Rose and Maggie turned into, but I guess we'll never know. Guess we could uh, finish off with Sue. Uh, just gotta trade the Silver Blade. There's the silver card. I don't want to sell either of these. The silver blade I can sell because it's worth quite a bit. All right, so let's sell the silver blade. Nine hundred. It's okay. All right. So what should we sell? Well, buy. Well, definitely we we should buy four air caliber tomes. Should buy some more lightning tomes for Chad. No, fire tome is probably nice as well. Should buy some flux tomes because we actually don't have that many. Nosferatu Tome, because why not? Restore Staff's gonna be useful in the upcoming chapter. Another Torch, why not? Uh, another Men's Staff, because we lost one with Cecilia. Pure Water, probably nice as well. And of course, we can't remember Sophia. She's sleeping for one more turn. That's fine. We can let her sleep, and then she's gonna go and get the Guiding Ring. I, if I forgot the Guiding Ring, I would have been pretty pissed with myself. Holy fuck. Kashmak! Oh, these guys are fucking tough. Ow! What the actual fuck, game? <laughs> Jesus. Don't hit me. Oh, what the f- Are you fucking kidding me right now? Don't tell me that other fuck is gonna hit me as well. I'm gonna be pretty fucking pissed if that happens. Okay, thank god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, the brigands are coming. <laughs> There's so many, many of them as well. Alright, cool. Sophia woke up. Let's go get the guiding ring. So we can promote Ellen in the next chapter. Gonna be fun. I think it's right here. Yep. There we go. Guiding ring. The only fucking reason to ever bring Sophia up here. Her usefulness is done at this point. Let's buy a silver sword. Mm, we need some more steel bows. I actually know we do. Uh, let's go get a steel lance. Another steel sword. You can never have too many steel weapons. Steel weapons are pretty much your go. Iron Jet weapons just won't cut it in this LP. I've noticed. It, they're just not strong enough. I need steel weapons. Of course, sometimes characters can't use steel weapons in which you give them iron swords, but still. Alright, let's get a little bit more experience. Let's break Chad's lightning tome. Then we're gonna cease. Always nice to give units a little bit of extra experience. Hit points, skill, and defense. Always nice. Chad to get a little bit more bulk. Come on, crit! Ow! <laughs> Funny part about poison uh, axes in, uh, in this LP is that they actually hit you. Hit points, luck, and defense. Ah, it's okay. It is okay. There we go. Nine experience. Do 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 do. This guy is even has a steel axe. I remember most of these guys having hand axes, but maybe it's the guy coming from the west that has hand axes. These guys have melee axes. Could be. Could be. 
Alright, let's dance and give a kill to Klein, and then we will cease. Nice to see Klein being able to double people again. Been a while. There we go. Almost a level up. Alright, turn 16. Let's cease. We're done with everything. I'm pretty sure we have everything we need. Yep, let's go. Whew. Jesus Christ. That was a difficult battle, Roy. I agree. Alright, join us next time, guys, as we take on a Gaiden chapter. Wonder how this one's gonna be. Usually it's pretty easy, but it could be hard now with the extra stats on it. We'll have to see. Depends on what the boss is, really. Could be interesting. He usually has a bolting tome, but maybe he won't now. Anyway, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this episode. And as always, my name is Finn Mainz, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.